by my wife, Deborah. I hope one day our family is as nice as yours. Oh, there it is. What's this? You think I'm a spoiled brat? You like to be taken care of. There's nothing wrong with that. I like the way you take care of me. Somebody wants somebody dead? Then who am I to question it? This isn't the crime family. This is just a guy who they hire who's sort of uh, down the ranks, but he's a hitman. And um, yeah, like to me, uh, what was compelling about the story and you know, or what, what, what made it a little different was that, and, and I still am having trouble like with this, is how to, to this guy capable of so much death and like destruction and violence and brutality also like loves genuinely loves his family you doing hits behind my back look anybody just because you're doing bad things doesn't mean you don't have a wife and family and insecurities and money pressures and, and everything else and I think what what Ariel did is filter that in with as opposed to just the, you know, guys who kill each other and that's all it was. You know, these are human beings just doing terrible things. <clears throat> but they're still people. If you could follow orders, you got everything to gain. Roy the Mayo did some good what character I, I played. You know, it's a real seen. guy and he did some pretty nasty, myself. nasty things. And yeah, in the beginning it was showing that. They used to chop up bodies and, you know, eat pizza and be, you know, as if it was just everyday occurrences and that's you know they're you know it's sad to say but there are people out there who do things like that and then still have a family and a wife and a kid and you know the regular concerns that we all have there ain't gonna be nothing else to be afraid of i didn't know i was supposed to be afraid